ating mga Chong. Welcome na naman po sa isang episode ng Chong Show Product Review. For today, uh, we will review ito pong item na nasa harap natin which is a Lenovo ThinkBook. Yan. So, uh, the colorway of this um, laptop is what they call the mineral gray. And uh, the model is 14-IML20RV. So, that's Romeo Victor. So, 14-India Mama Lima or India Mama Mike Lima uh, 20 Romeo Victor. Ito po yung model ng ating Lenovo na Facebook. So, just a little background uh, of the item here. So, this was purchased yesterday uh, dahil po yung laptop na na ginagamit ng anak ko for homeschooling or online schooling uh, bumigay na. So, it is a Dell Latitude E6410. So, there are two options na pinagpipili. There are two models na pinagpipili ang ko. One is, uh, kung di ako nagkakamali, it's Asus Yaten or Acer which have a uh, AMD Ryzen 5 processor, 1TB hard drive, and a 128GB SSD for the system, for the system drive. And 4GB RAM. Yun. So, the price of that model or that laptop is 28,999. So, 28,000. And... Ito nga, naghanap-hanap pa ako sa Gilmore which I found this one, Lenovo, Think, Lenovo Thinkbook na nagustuhan ko yung specs niya. So, I will discuss the specs later as we go along sa video na to. So, yun. Um, without further ado, let's begin. So, ito po yung ating Lenovo Thinkbook na laptop. The processor is an Intel i3 generation 10 processor. Uh, fourth course, two threads, kung di po ako nagkakamali. The RAM or the memory of the computer or the laptop is a 16GB RAM. And yung pong storage niya is a 128 SSD. So, on the right side, makikita po natin yung kanyang power adapter, which is ito pong nasa dulo. Katabi niya po yung kanyang LED light or LED indicator for pag nag-charge po tayo. And we have one, two USB port on this side, on the right side. Yung pong isa is hidden. Ito. Ito. Hidden po siya. So, there are two USB ports na 3.0 para po sa ating mga other devices, other USB devices na gusto po natin saksak, whether it's a uh, USB storage, USB mouse, o kung ano man po. And meron din po tayo itong micro SD or S card reader sa kanan. So, sa gawing kaliwa naman po, you'll see the LAN port, which is still an essential an HDMI port, and another USB 3.0 port. Meron din po tayo ditong dalawang USB Type-C, which doubles or acts as a uh, display port. Kung gusto po natin gumamit ng external monitor, you can use this the HDMI or the USB Type-C. Meron din po tayo ditong USB jack, or microphone and headphone jack and then an external monitor and the two LED for the or light indicator for the uh, for the hard drive and the power so inside the laptop kung bubuksan po natin siya makikita po natin yung fingerprint sensor or fingerprint scanner or sensor beside the power button meron din po siyang trackpad and also the camera integrated camera po siya. Dito po sa taas ng screen. The seat, the laptop has a 14-inch Full HD ISP screen. So, for me, it's good. 
Important. Then the keyboard, of course. By the way, the colorway of the laptop is what they call the mineral gray. Important. So, para siyang brush aluminum. Hindi ako nagkakamali. The battery, by the way, is internal. So, hindi po siya yung kagaya dati ng mga ibang laptop na natatanggal po dito sa part na to. Makikita po dito. But, right now, it's it, uh, this time, it's internal. So, makikita rin po natin on the bottom part, uh, a QR code. Yan po, QR code para po sa ating Lenovo e-support. Just scan this QR code. Um, you will be redirected to the to the Lenovo website for support. Okay. Now let's power on the laptop. So, makita po natin yung loob niya. So the Lenovo splash screen will appear. We are upon powering on the laptop. So let's check the properties. First, let's go to Task Manager. Then, sa performance po niya. And then, sa resources. Let's open the resource monitor. So, maximize lang po natin yung sa screen. So, sa the CPU, 4 cores po siya. CPU 0, 1, 2, and 3. So, 4 cores po siya. And 2 threads. So one, the first thread is a 2.1, and the second thread is the is a 2.6 gigahertz. So some memory. We have. Hindi makikita dito yung memory. No mistake. Yeah, it's it's here. Kung makikita po sa kung magre-register po sa camera, it's a 16 gig RAM, 16 MB. So 15 gig. Kung di ako nagkakamali, it's use, is usable and the other and the remaining one naka-share po siya doon sa ating video or the yeah, video video display kasi wala po siyang sariling GPU to. Okay, so let's go to So, if you can see here, kung mapapansin po ninyo sa camera, dapat lang po natin ang konti. Intel Core i3 1011 OU CPU at 2.1 and 2.6. So, uh, dual 4-core dual thread. Hindi ako nagkakamali yun. Ha? Correct me if I'm wrong. Installed memory is 16 gig, 15.6 gig usable. So, the rest nakaalat for the for the display card. So it's a Windows 10 Home Edition, yung nakabundled po sa kanyang OS. Um in-update ko lang po siya para para naman magkaroon ng bagong build. Yan lang naman po yung makikita natin. So let's go to the device manager. So yan na naman po yung makikita natin sa device manager. So, audio inputs and outputs. So, microphone. By the way, yung po palang speaker nito is uh, Dolby. So, uh, maganda, maganda po siya. It's loud. Pero, I usually use the headphones when I watch movies or when I test the sound of this, of the, of this device or this laptop. So, meron po tayong biometric device which is yung pong fingerprint natin. Goodix ang kanya ang brand niya. We have the camera. May Bluetooth din po siya. So, the hard drive, it's a Western Digital 128GB. Display adapters, it's an Intel UHD graphics, yun po nakabuilt-in sa kanya. Then the rest, mga, kwan na po to, mga mouse, mga memory, mga keyboards, etc., etc., Yun lang po yung makikita naman natin. So, I will not dig deeper into it. I know of, some of you are techy enough para po i-check po yan mga yan. 
So it's just a, this is just an overview of the laptop that we purchased for our daughter's um, online schooling. So I haven't yet set the uh, the fingerprint scanner dahil anak ko lang naman gagamit but soon possible na isasat ko rin para hindi siya yung mahook up with, the, with using the laptop ayoko rin kasi na, nakatutok lagi sa technology or sa laptop yung anak ko yan so a little background uh, on the laptop hindi naman ito yung agad namin na nakita na laptop na binili agad namin or binili agad namin to um, we still went around sa Gilmore to check on the kung ano yung mga available na laptop and to check on the specs. One laptop that uh, caught my attention is kung di ako nagkakamali is yun yung Acer which have the AMD Ryzen 5 processor 4 gig RAM dalawang hard drive niya sa loob one uh, SSD and the other one is the HDD so in SSD is 128 gig tapos meron siyang 1 terabyte na, na HD hard drive, hard drive na kasama so almost pareho lang siya but I still choose the Core i3 uh, mas kabisado ko kasi or mas sanay ako sa Intel processors not unlike before na mas gusto ko yung AMD processors because of the price because dati kasi is AMD processors are cheap uh, almost half the price ng, AM, ng Intel processors so ang nagustuhan ko pa dito is the RAM which is 16 gig yun po 16 gig RAM um, it is for me for me ha uh, personally speaking mas preferred ko ang mas mataas na RAM than the storage. Mas mas mabilis kasi ang for me mas mabilis kasi yung mag-upgrade ng storage kaysa doon sa memory. Mas mabilis for me to purchase a store an extra storage than the RAM. Minsan kasi may mga RAM na um ano tawag nun, hindi compatible. Based on my experience, I don't know kung ano naman yung experience niyo. And also um, yung story na binilhan ko, they don't offer yun mag upgrade ako ng RAM kung yung Acer yung, kinuha, yung, yung isang brand yung kinuha ko. So, hindi sila nag-offer na, na i-upgrade yung RAM. RAM is, RAM, another extra RAM module is expensive, to be honest. Um, mas namumuram pa akong bumili ng storage than the RAM. So, yan. Um, price of this laptop is uh, 29,000 yun po yung bili namin but the SRP is nasa 31,500 hindi ako nagkakamali yung, compet yung competitor yung pong isang laptop na tinitignan namin uh, nasa 28,000 so kung magdadagdaga ako kung mag-upgrade ako ng RAM um, aabot rin ako ng 30 plus 30, 31, 32,000 hindi ako nagkakamali ha so, yun um, so, mas preferred ko to so, it comes with this this laptop or the, the bundled OS is a Windows 10 Home Edition and meron na rin siyang office na kasama but, hindi ko kinuha yung office dahil nga, meron naman akong office license na uh, provided ng company namin so hindi ko na kinuha nakales ako doon so yung binibigay sa akin na price nito is 29.5 so pinatanggal tumawad ako nagbargain ako up 29,000 tanggalin na nila yung OS so wala naman ang pakilam sa OS eh. or sa office na application dahil na meron ako kaya yung sabi ko so yun um, if you'll ask if it's a good buy um, medyo overkill kung sasabihin para sa akin kung pang homeschooling lang but possible pag bumalik na yung mga bata sa school pagpapasok na ulit sa school ako, ako na rin ang gagamit itong laptop na to so uh, okay na rin 
um, it's, a, it's a good buy for me. Hindi na hindi na ako lugi sa pressure na 29,000 for this one. Lalo na um, I can hook up another two extra monitors dito sa HDMI port and sa USB Type C. As long as I have the cable na yung USB Type C to HDMI, HDMI, so I can hook up two monitors. Yan. Um, doon sa standby time, ang nabasa ko sa tech sheet sa Lenovo website, it's around 12 hours. Yan. Hindi ko lang sigurado ha. I haven't yet tested this na yung naka-on yung battery nung matagal. Or hindi nakasaksak sa charger. I haven't yet tried, tested it. So, it's a good buy kagaya ng sabi ko. Um... For those, for those who are planning to buy a laptop, um, maran pang mas mura. But for me, uh, hindi na yung price niya and or yung specs niya sa price is hindi na hindi tugma or hindi akma, hindi bagay. So yon. So again. Uh, that concludes our product review for the Lenovo ThinkBook. Um, this is Chong, and hope to see you again on the next video.